Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. My people, Nigerians, Nigeria the side. Obi wins all pulling units in Asso Rock. And Nigerians are really excited with the way things are going. Honestly speaking, Peter Obi wins in all pulling units in Asso Rock. And the most shocking one is um, the the national chairman of APC, Adulai Yadamu. Peter Obi also won his own pulling unit. And Nigerians can to talk about it. Wait till they happen. Hmm. Nothing they happen. Okay, nothing they happen. Nigerians really want to do this. And there, um, at this uh, particular time, so many Nigerians are still at the pulling units because they want to see the end. Those people, when they say their material is not quite common time, and you don't vote, you have to wait so that the vote will be counted. Nigerians, what they are doing, they know they vote, they know they come out, they, they see the end. Okay, they say this one, all die and die, we will die once, we will see the end of it. So, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, on Saturday won all the pulling units in Asso Rock presidential villa. And this have got so many Nigerians talking. If you hear with Nigerians, they talk, my people, you go shock. Because even Buhari himself, the um, Bola Tinubu, the APC presidential candidate, is really shocked with the results. So far, Peter Obi won all the pulling units in Asso Rock. He also one in um, the APC National uh, Chairman's Police Unit, Adulai Yadamu. And I don't see this kind of thing before. Hmm. The former governor of Anambra State defeated the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, and Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, flag bearer, Rabi Yukwanikwesu. Okay, this is the result so far. Let me read it out. One presidential uh, polling unit, 121. APC got 31 votes. PDP got 32. NNPP got one. Labour Party got 58. AA got one. Then they have three invalid. Then number two, two, okay, polling units, 131. APC scored six votes, PDP got three, NNPP got one, Labour Party got 17 votes, invalid two, then the total is 29 votes. Then another polling unit in Nassau uh, uh, Villa, uh, they have, this one is a uh, polling unit 021, Labour Party scored 40, 58 votes, APC got 31 PDP got 32. Then four, presidential pulling unit, 122. Labor Party got 105. APC got 29. PDP got 16. Then Senate, uh, APC scored 20, 29. PDP scored 27. Labor Party scored 92. Then House of Rep, APC scored 31. Labor Party got 95 and the uh, pdp got 27 then the presidential pres presidential polling unit 123 labor party got 86 pdp got 44 pdp pdp got i beg your pardon apc got 44 pdp got 21 then the senate labor party got 60 APC got 41, PDP got 44, NNPP got 5, APGA got 2, AA got 2, ADC got 2, ZLP got 1, SDP got 1, rejected uh, by lot was 2. Then as of reps, uh, Labour Party got 63, APC got 46, then PDP got 40. Honestly speaking, the margin is just too much. Okay, the margin is just too much. The winning margin is just too much. It be like say Nigerians when they when they put hand for uh, the presidential uh, 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 candidates when when they vote for um, Peter Obi, they could just go Peter Obi uh, for president, Labour Party for Senate, uh, Labour Party 
for House of Representatives, even when they don't know the person. Honestly speaking, this shows that Nigerians are really angry with the situation we have found ourselves. Though the results are still coming, we cannot just, you know, say this is what it is right now. But honestly speaking, uh, Peter Obi is really doing well. Yes, Peter Obi is doing well. Nobody thought that a party, Labour Party, that just, you know, just from nowhere, okay? Not be say Labour Party not day before, Labour Party day. But from nowhere, we are seeing what is going on like this. For you to know that if this Labour Party has been there, you know, for this, like, two years now, honestly speaking, hey, by now, nobody for just to talk anything. That is the truth. Nobody for just to talk anything. So we move. Nigerians are still voting. So many persons, like as I said, so many persons are still in the polling units. Uh, um, election materials arrived very late in some areas in southeast region, in Imo State, in Anambra, in Enugu, and uh, um, Delta State too. So those areas, their their materials arrived at about two thirty p.m. and all that. So many people who waited, they they have to go back. But those people who still have strength to stay, they stayed. But uh, inter society has written to INEC to extend some hours so that these people will be able to vote. You know, say so go pay now, wait till they wait since last last, you know, if you vote because materials not quick on. And there is uh, there is another wonder that is happening. If the 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 the, the INEC official comes, they go tell you say they they are not with the uh, 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 the materials and all that. This is funny. This is really funny. I don't know why this is happening like this. This is what INEC has been preparing for for so many months now. Why are they having all these laughs? Is 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 look funny because if they continue like this, it will look like it's deliberate. Okay. So guys, this is this this is just this for now. We will soon come your way. We will give you update of what is going on and how it's happening. Kindly, you know, stay with us. I'm dropping it here. Kindly uh, share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget...